What's going on, everyone? Hey, it's Bongface with you. Today, I wanted to bring your attention to the Respect for Marriage Act. Now, the Democrats on Tuesday in the Senate decided to try and push this bill through to hopefully, you know, Potato Man in Chief will sign it before the Republicans take over next year. I have a video to show you guys, and then we'll get into it a little more. The Senate is passing the Respect for Marriage Act. Today, the long but inexorable march towards greater equality advances forward. No matter who you are or who you love, you too deserve dignity and equal treatment under the law. As the chamber knows, this is personal to me, and the first people I will call when this bill passes will be my daughter and her wife. I want to thank Senator Baldwin, who's been the lead on this bill, Senator Sinema, who's worked so hard, Senator Portman, who's poured his heart and soul into it, and Senator Tillis in particular. But I also want to thank all of the Republicans who have supported this. I know that it has not been easy, but they've done the right thing. Now, would you look at them geriatric creatures that we have representing us? I mean, how old is too old to serve? Whenever your voice is trembling and you're shaking and you can't even speak properly, it, it's time to go. We need term limits in these offices and, and people need to come to grips with. Once you become a certain age, you can't serve anymore. Now, this isn't exactly law of the land. It still needs to go through the House and they plan to pass the next piece of legislation on December 7th. But time will tell. Now, they got 12 Republicans to vote yes on this. It won a majority vote of 61 to 36. And the reason that this is all being brought up, like gay marriage is already legal, but they wanted to codify it to the land because Clarence Thomas, big bad Clarence, uh, came out, I think it was in June maybe, and said that privacy rights, including same sex, could be reconsidered next. So they're taking the you know preemptive measure here and trying to get out ahead of any Supreme Court ruling that would overturn gay marriage, which I don't think they will. I think that's kind of like suicide. The abortion thing was, I don't want to say safe, but it's definitely safer than gay marriage. Um, but like I said, this is all preemptive. They're trying to get ahead of this before the Republicans come into office. Now, of course, we had our rhinos, our typical line steppers, our people that switch sides all the time. And it always cracks me up that Democrats, no matter what, even when they know they're wrong, they never break rank. They walk hand in glove. They say the same thing. They change the same definitions of the same word. So until we can all get on the same page as conservatives, Republicans, anything other than a Democrat, I don't see us having the same you know, chances or outcomes that they do. Twitter, of course, went crazy over this and people were going nuts, hashtag and everything about it. Well, the Department of Transportation secretary himself, Pete Buttigieg, happens to be gay. And he put out a little thread saying it's a strange feeling to see something as basic and as personal as the durability of your marriage come up for the debate on the Senate floor. But I am hopeful that they will act to protect millions of families, including ours and appreciate all that has gone into preparing for this important legislation to move forward. Now, of course, he feels a certain way because this affects him and his uh, lover there and their kids. Some other people were trying to, like, dunk on McConnell and whatnot because he's in an interracial marriage. But I'd say interracial marriage between a man and a woman is different between a man and a man because it's a, you know, actual union between two people that can have kids together. So just my thoughts on it. I could care less what you want to do in your bedroom, you know. What you do behind closed doors is totally up to you. What I have a problem with is how they've been pushing it so hard into everything and in movies, TV shows, every commercial you see now has to have a gay couple in it. They even push it into our kids' schools. Like you see the drag queen story hours and everything else, the rainbow flags in the classroom. That's where I have a problem with it. The kids shouldn't even, you know, have any idea what that is but yet they, they want to push it on them so bad. So you can see, that everyone knows there's an agenda going on there. I, I just find it funny. We, we're sending billions of dollars to Ukraine. We're worried about gay marriage, but yet the price of gas and the price of food continues to go up. And you see where their priorities are. They care more about getting likes on Twitter than they do about taking care of the American people that actually put them in the position that they're in. So 
But anyways, it's bong face, and I'm out of here. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. Let's go, Brandon.